Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'll be making a fun pastel themed card with old and new lawn fawn. Hope you enjoy. So in this card, I wanted to add a fun road on the bottom of the scene. So I just lined up the main piece of the road border die and just roughly eyeballed where I wanted it to go. Now this won't be an exact placement of the die but I'm just going to mask off a little bit of the bottom so that there's a little bit of grass on the bottom which will go underneath that road. And then I'm going to use a combination of distress inks in pink to make the sky. So I started with some picked raspberry and I just blended that along the bottom here. And then I gradually lighten my pressure around the middle and then I went in and added some Kitsch Flamingo Distress Ink and blended that into the picked raspberry. And I thought it would be fun to use pinks for the sky just to make this more of a happy, summery, pastel themed card. But of course you can always go for the traditional blue sky if you prefer. At the very top of this, I added the Spun Sugar Distress Ink. And this color is very light and it takes a lot of pressure to um, blend it in, but I like how it has a gradient of pink that gradually gets lighter. So once I've put all three of those colors in, I'm going to go back and blend the three of them together until I have a nice smooth gradation of pinks on my sky. And for me, I always get the best results using the foam domed blending tools. So now that I've got my beautiful pink sky, I'm going to work on the bottom, the grassy part, which will peek out underneath that road. So I'm going to start with some peacock feathers distress ink and I'm just lightly putting some of that down. I'm not going to push too hard because I want to take some of that Twisted Citron Distress Ink and blend it on top. So you get this combination of the two inks, which I think looks quite fun and whimsical. The perfect grass for a summer card. Now I'm going to use a little scrap of paper and ink blend some Lost Shadow Distress Ink on this. And this is where I'm going to use my sentiment and I will heat emboss it on here afterwards. And I love this color because it's not too dark and not too light. It's a great color. Now I wanted a darker gray for my road but I haven't got any in my distress inks, so I'm using a pumice stone, and this is a distress oxide. And I think this color works quite well because it's, although it's a dark gray, it's still light enough to go well with that pink sky. So in terms of stamp sets, the main stamp set I used is the Treat Cart from Lawn Fawn, and I've just put them on the left there so you can see for reference. And I used, these are the main images that I used, but I stamped that tiny bear twice. And then I added some words to the sign and the cart. And I also took that little ice cream and put it on both the sign and the cart. So that gives it a fun, ice cream look there, which I think is quite nice. But I love how this stamp set will work with the larger Lawn Fawn critters. So I'm going to use the Germ Free Bear and I'm going to stamp him. And I'm also going to stamp the blanket from the Crazy Antics stamp set. And then some of the larger bears from the Den Sweet Den set. Well, the baby bear as well as the large bear. And that larger bear has a die that you can die cut so that he can hold things, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, while I'm stamping, 
I'm going to use my anti-static tool on that lost shadow, Distress Ink, and stamp two of the sentiments from the treat cart. So this is Have the Sweetest Birthday. And the other one I'm going to stamp is actually from the treat cart sentiment add-on. And that one is Today's Your Day. And I'm going to heat emboss both of these sentiments with white embossing powder. Now, because I'm going for a pastel theme, these won't be the darkest sentiments. So if you want them darker, you could always use black embossing powder. Now I'm going to die cut some clouds out of this sparkly paper and do a little sun with some squeeze lemonade distress ink. Those dyes, the clouds and the sun, are all from the platform pop-up set that I have, but you can use whatever's in your stash. Now the fun part, I'm gonna put this card all together. So I'm going to add the road border die. This is the main piece in the road border die. There's also the part that um, will have the lines on the road, but I skipped using that piece because I want it to be like a summer scene that's in a park. And I'm just going to glue that main piece of the road border down. And then I can trim off the edges here. And then I'm going to use that germ-free bear and tuck him into the cart so it looks like he's selling the ice cream, which is just perfect. And then I'll have the uh, sign and the picnic blanket and that bear from Den Sweet Den that holds things. I'm going to get him holding one of the ice creams, the banana split. And then the other bears, I'll put one tiny bear on the side here. He can hold an ice cream. And the other one is kind of looking longingly at that ice cream cart. And I was going to have him hold the uh, lollipop or ice lolly, but I'll leave that for later on. So I'm just going to add a few of those ice creams on the side of the cart, which adds some interest, and then put the clouds and the sun in the sky. And originally I had die cut about six of these clouds, but I do add some more later on. Now, after those are all glued down with foam tape and glue, I did add a spoon to that tiny bear. And then I popped up the sentiments on some foam tape. And I'm going to put those into the sky there. And I thought the sky looked a little bit bare here, even once I add the sentiment, no pun intended. <laughs> so I will add more clouds later on. But first I'm going to cut off the overlapping images on the side here, and then I can add a little bit more sparkle to the card. So I love adding stickles to little things, and those little tiny ice cream cones are just perfect for it. So I'm just going to put one of the clear stickles on those two ice cream cones. And then I'll leave that a few moments to dry. And then I'm just going to add a few highlights with a white pen, which helps to brighten up some of the darker corners and just gives it a whimsical feel. And you can add as much or as little as you like, but just a tiny line on a few of the images makes a huge difference. And whenever I'm adding one, if there's one I don't like, I just smudge it off before it dries. So it's quite easy to do. And then once those stickles are all dry, I've die-cut a couple more of those sparkly clouds. So I'm going to add those onto that background in the sky and then I can glue this whole thing onto my card base just gorgeous so this is a five by seven inch card so I'm just going to 
add some double-sided tape to the back and then I can adhere it to a card base. And I love how these new stamps from Lawn Fawn work so well with larger cards. On the inside, I'm going to use that leftover bear that I have, which is on the side there that you can see. And I'm also going to stamp another sentiment from that treat cart sentiment add-on. This is treat yourself and add that tiny little bear and that green um, ice lolly or popsicle. And I love collecting the Lawn Fawn washi tape. So I thought it would be a cute idea to add a little bit of that washi tape on the inside of the card. So I've got the matching washi, washi tape to the treat cart stamp set. I'm just going to use a piece that's the same length as the card and put it at the bottom here. And then I've got lots of room to my, my sentiment underneath. And then I'll just trim the edges off here so that it doesn't overlap. Just so cute. And now you can see the finished Teddy Bear Picnic Summer Card. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!